What up everybody, it's your boy, this is my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Truly appreciate all the support. We are episode 13 of Last 7 Kicks. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Sunday, I busted out the Air Max 1 BHMs. These are Fire Flame Fuego. I've worn these a couple times. This was actually from a YouTube viewer who gifted me these. It was a video where I said I wanted them, but I ended up going with the KD7s BHMs. So he actually gifted me this pair, and it really means a lot. He didn't even want his name out there. He just appreciated the work I did. So these are super dope, super clean. It was pretty much a runner's kind of week for me that last week. So uh, Monday, I wore the Ronnie Feig and New Balance collab. This one was the Brooklyn Bridge uh, colorway. Super, super sick. You got premium suede, micro suede, leather throughout that crazy, uh, somewhat translucent outsole. On the, on the uh, inner here, on the tongue, you have blueprints of the Brooklyn Bridge. Super, super sick shoe. Tuesday, I wore the other pair from that uh, New York City pack. We have the New Balance and Kith right here. These ones are the 530s. These ones were fire flame as well. More people actually like this pair than the Brooklyn Bridge. This was the Central Park pair. Had the Central Park uh, logo here. Suede, leathers abound. Again, on the inside, you have a map of Central Park. Super clean shoe. Quality is A1. Off to Wednesday. Wednesday, I wore yet another runner. We have the A6 Gel Light 5s. This was a collab between Bait and A6. This was the Splash City pack. Simple colorway, but it's so fire. Entire suede upper, the A6 logos in leather. So you have the Golden State Warrior colors, the blue, the yellow. On the inside you have the bait, B for bait, but with the basketball. Nothing crazy, but man, it just worked. There was actually a San Francisco Giants pair that looked the exact, was the exact same July 5, but it had the orange, and then I believe it had um, orange piping here. That was dope too, but I just decided to go with the, the Warriors colorway because I'm a fan of blue. Thursday, I wore a collab with N and A6, AKA Onitsuka Tiger. And these are the Bluebird collab. Whew, man, I got this for clearance. I got this for 70 bucks. I forgot what website. I think it might've been Ubik that had a crazy deal. This collab was fire. Entire suede upper. The ASICS logo is 3M, the rear here is 3M. Then I added some 3M uh, laces here. Um, it did come with two extra set of laces. The original release came with a special edition box and then the little eggs were, were where your laces were, but this one just had the laces in a typical lace bag. So it wasn't anything crazy, but these are flames and I was super happy to get these for 70 bucks. Friday, Foam Fridays, your man wore a classic that will be releasing next year, 2017. We have the Air Foam Posit 1 eggplants got these bad boys for 90 bucks this one as you can see there's a lot of wear but again with foams they stay looking new saturday finally didn't wear a pair of runners instead i wore the way of wade threes the leaning way of wade threes i believe this was the year of the sheep if i'm not mistaken this was somewhat the last good model the way of wade fours were horrible Number one, the price, and then of course they use mesh materials as opposed to leathers, which they use in their first 3D weights. So it didn't really work, and I'm sure it didn't sell well for them either. But these are sick. Translucent outsole, tire upper is 3M. I'll throw a shot right here so you can see how the 3M, and it's different shades of 3M, so it's super nasty. Just incredible detail. But yeah, that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned next week for episode 14 of Last 7 Kicks. And with that being said, it's your boy. This is my sneakerhead. And a brother is out. Peace.